Okay, by the end of this video, you would have learned how to make any vehicle in this game a drivable one. To do that, you have to download this object called the Drivable Super Adapter from the download station. And then you clone it to create your own version. Now, Control Shift C to edit it in Content Creator Plus. And now we have to wait for it to pop up. Click OK. Now, to create the actual mesh, right now it's just a blank mesh. You can replace it with whatever vehicle you want. Here, you at this icon, you click on, um, don't look under mesh because you're not going to find it there. Look under scenery. Now I have to wait for it to appear. The list of scenery objects. And there we go again with the uh, mouse can't do anything symbol. Uh, how long is this going to take? Yep, still going. Still loading. This is usually the longest part of editing anything on this game. Choosing something, because it takes forever for the list to load. <coughs> still loading. Yeah, it's still loading. It's not doing anything yet. Okay, and now the list is popping up. Still waiting. Whoever invented this really loves making people wait for things to happen. Okay, here comes the list. Now, uh, now the only thing you have to do is choose the vehicle you want to make drivable. I'm going to choose a FedEx vehicle. Let's see. Freightliner. Make sure you're clicking on a vehicle and not some other object like a billboard. <laughs> and let's see. Classic. Uh, Columbia. Uh, and let's see. I guess I'll use this one. FedEx Express. Uh, FedEx Delivery Step Van Static. Not sure what DES stands for. Hmm. Okay, so I'll, so I'm gonna use this one. Now over here is a list of places where it can be attached to the mesh. Each one is facing a different way, so you make sure, you have to make sure you choose the right one. The reason for this is because some meshes face different directions, and you have to rotate them a bit so that they're facing forward. You have to for this one, it has to be facing zero degrees. But for some of them, you're not really going to know which way to face it until you actually try it out, and then you're going to have to keep making changes to it. Okay, now for the interior. Uh, of course, this game doesn't have any interior for a FedEx delivery truck or any kind of delivery truck. So I had to just look for the closest equivalent, which doesn't really, which this game doesn't really have. It has truck interiors, but I can't download them right now because I'm because I still have that 100 megabyte limit. And I can't afford the first class ticket thing. Let's see. It's here. How many types of cabs do we have? Let's see. VVO interior. That's definitely not going to look like the inside of a truck. <coughs> Bombardier Flex City. Why do I even still have that cab? The train the train that it belongs to doesn't work on this game. Might as well delete the cab too. Uh Tucson 
TTV cab, probably not. The inside of a caboose, no. Not sure what, not sure what any of these are. <laughs> cab seventy two, camera view interior. Not sure what that is either. Car interior. I guess that's a close equivalent. City bus interior. No. It's definitely not going to look like a bus inside it. Let's see, what else do we have? I'll choose the car interior if I can't find anything else. And this is only temporary until I can download the re an actual truck cab. The ice tram cab. Why do I have the ice tram cab? The ice tram doesn't work on this game. <laughs> Because of that stupid missing texture error, like the texture could not be loaded for whatever. So annoying. Anyway. <laughs> Still trying to look for a cab that looks like the inside of a truck. But since this game favors train animation, you're probably not going to find one. Okay, I'll use the car interior for now until I can download an another cab. Okay, the engine specification, I usually just leave that as default local. Engine sound, it's definitely not going to sound electric. For trucks and buses, I usually use the... the Red Hen engine sound when it pops up. Oh, it didn't... what happened? Oh, it's not space, that's why. Because when you start up the vehicle, using this engine sound, it sounds like air brakes are being released. So, this is the best equivalent to a truck sound. Now for the horn. Hmm, I already have an idea of what horn I want to give this vehicle. Even though it's a delivery truck, I'm giving it the bus horn because when you press the bell button on this one, it sounds like the sound of a large vehicle backing up. You know that um, beeping sound you hear? So, this is the best equivalent for a horn. Okay, now, all that's left is to give this drivable super adapter a name so that I can find it easily. What I usually do is, I take the name of the vehicle I used, copy it, and then paste it here, and leave the word drivable. That way, all I have to do is type drivable to find it, and then I know which one it is by the name that I copied. And now, Control S to save it. Config file hasn't written successfully. And now, Control M to keep the changes. I just have to wait for this to um, finish. This may take a while. It usually does. And sometimes I have to do it more than once. Okay, it didn't work the first time. So, Control M again. Okay, now it worked. Now it says Drivable Federal Express uh, so on. Now I have to exit out of this and click on this trains icon. Wow, it actually appeared right away this time. Usually it takes me like 10 minutes to get it to appear. Okay, click start. And now I'm going to put it on rail yard so that I can um so that I can um see if it if everything looks the way it should. Okay, it's still loading. Okay, now rail yard. Of course, the list is going to take a long time to load because it's a really large one. <coughs> okay, rail yard. Uh, I really hate the Estella Express on this game. 
It's not very realistic, and they're missing the cafe car too. Not only that, but the chairs don't really look that high detailed. At least they got rid of that glitch where the chairs are visible from the outside of the vehicle. <laughs> it would be nice if the train had a destination sign so it could say Boston or Washington DC on the side of it too. Okay, I need to bring up the list so I can look for the vehicle I was planning on testing. Oh, and the power cars are even less realistic because the cab doesn't have any any of the digital speedometers or anything. It only has the um, analog ones. And the horn isn't real either. So, looking for... There are, there are a lot of realistic trains on this game, but this is but um this one isn't one of them. This one looks kind of realistic, but I can't use it because the horn has this glitch in it. Yeah. Instead of hearing the actual horn, I hear that instead. Don't know how to fix it, and it's really irritating. So I won't be using the X2000 for a while. <laughs> I still don't know why this won't appear. I mean, the cab car appears, but the coach does not. And the list is taking a while to scroll down again. I have a lot of airplanes up here. Oh, and here's that tram I was talking about earlier, the Flexity. It won't work on this game because of a texture error. Or a bunch of texture errors, actually. It keeps saying this texture could not be loaded for the mesh or whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. Only the person who made the train can fix that. Hey, look, it's the Intercity Express. Oh, none of those work. They were working earlier, but... Somehow they all suddenly stopped working, and now they won't appear anymore. Eh, I can usually fix this problem by deleting it and re-downloading it, but that's going to take a long time. <laughs> Wish there was a faster way to fix them. But since I'm not even using them right now, there's, there's really no need to worry about that. Eh... Yeah. Oh wait, I think I skipped it. It starts with a letter D, doesn't it? Oh, it's right here. Hmm. It has a working horn. It doesn't have headlights because I don't know how to give it headlights at all. But at least it works. Oh, that's weird. The name says it's from uh, Federal... Okay, Delivery. Oh. If it's a delivery, shouldn't it say home delivery? It says FedEx Ground, though. Ah, oh, never mind. I also created a FedEx truck. I'm trying to find it. Not that one. Here it is. And I also created a trailer for it to pull. Where is that at? Here it is. Oh. It's not, it doesn't match. This is a FedEx Freight one, and the truck is from FedEx Ground. Uh. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll copy another one later to match it. <laughs> anyway, that's how you make a vehicle drivable.